Guy is a character who's had questionable power levels since she's been out. In the beginning, there was no strong reaction for Electro, really other than Taser. With the introduction of Dendro, we've had a lot of new interactions and good ones at that, allowing characters like Yai Miko to shine more than they once did. Are you wondering what a highly invested Yai looks like? That's exactly what this video is for. Today, I'm going to show you her teams, her build, and give you a showcase in the Abyss, showing, explaining, telling you how and why she is a great character since the introduction of Dendro. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. For most of the video, this is the build that she is on. 85, 201, very little energy recharge, which we'll come to see, is kind of important on her and something you honestly need to be going for. These are her artifacts. With a heavy focus on crit, attack percent, and some slight elemental mastery, she's C0, and her talents are 6, 9, and 8. You might be wondering why are her normal attacks leveled up? Well, that is because you are going to be using them in some teams. And for the Quick Bloom teams, I run her on 4-piece Gilded, still focusing on attack percent, crit damage, but a little heavier focus on elemental mastery, and she is on the Widsith. As for her teams, this is one of my favorite. It takes the Raiden Hyper and allows it to become a hybrid with a Yai Raiden Hyper. It's weird because Hyper means it's typically one character, but with this, they actually synergize really well. Yai has off-field damage while everybody else has uptime and they're on-field. Raiden gives a lot of energy for all of your characters, especially Yai, who really needs the energy. They play off of each other very well. Their cooldowns line up very nicely. Yai giving more stacks to Raiden because her burst has a high cost. Bennett buffing your damage, Kazo buffing your damage. This team is honestly one of my favorite, if not the favorite Raiden and or Yai team. It's fun. It's good. And then we have our aggravate teams with double electro, dendro, and kazuha. What this team does is take the quicken reaction, specifically aggravate, and amps it up through Yao Yao being on Instructor, giving you a bunch of Elemental Mastery, Kazuha buffing and shredding the Electro, allowing this team to do very good damage on field and off field. Official Yai, not only are they compared to each other, they're directly competing for similar roles, but they actually play well together, very similar to Xingqiu and Yulan. This team's very well rounded through Yao Yao's insane healing, Kazuha's buffing, and these characters on and off field damage. Another great team is Quick Bloom, and what Quick Bloom does is takes the Quicken reaction as well as the Hyper Bloom reaction and combines them, allowing you to do spread and aggravate damage as well as getting Hyper Blooms to do some fairly solid damage on top of all the damage you're already doing. This is probably one of the more well rounded Yai teams, but there's nothing wrong with going pure Hyper Bloom either, as Yai has some solid options as well as decent ability to hit the Blooms. Right 
here. Rest and rebuild. I'm always watching. Right now. Emerge. Wings of darkness. Billowing surge. Well, go, go. Hold the line. Right now. Right here. Emerge. On. Reveal. The sacred. Temple of wisdom. A sight to behold. Right now. Right here. Shadow racer. Grow, grow, grow. Make yourselves at home. Allow me. Emerge. Right now. Right here. I'm always watching. Right now, emerge. We have our overloaded teams of Chevreuse. And honestly, these aren't bad, but I would not say they're one of her better teams. It's just something that you can do if you want a little variation and you do want to run overload and or you like the characters in it. It has solid AoE. It has solid energy generation. Since there's so many power characters, Shangling doesn't have to focus so heavily on energy recharge. All these characters do a bunch of damage. And honestly, it's pretty fun. Emerge. Taser, that's honestly fine. You can run it. Xingqiu, Beto, Yai, and Jean or Kazo, whatever you want to run. Sucrose even. But Fischl is typically better in the slot that Yai goes in. You're replacing Fischl, who does a lot of damage in that team, and it's just not necessarily worth it. Is it good? Can you run it? Will it work? Yes. You can run Yai in another team without those characters, not in Taser, in your hyper build. And then you have two teams. You have your Taser team first half and your hyper team second half, if you would like. I think Fischl's better in that slot, but if you want to run Taser, Taser, you can run Yai.